What's up guys, Eric here. Welcome to Rant and Preview, the weekly mega video where we talk about all of our favorite DC TV shows. I scour the internet and search for news, information, things to get hyped for leading up to the fall premiere of all of our favorite shows. A little light on the news this week, but I still have some stuff for you guys. So let's start off with Supergirl and jump right into it. So we found out we will be seeing Maggie's dad this season and he has already been cast. Carlos Bernard has been placed in the role of Maggie's dad and from some leaked behind the scenes footage, it seems he won't be too happy with her and the decisions that she's made. I'm also making this prediction based on information we got in episode 13 of season two, basically the Valentine's episode. In that episode, Maggie reveals that her dad kicked her out of the house when she was 14 years old because she had a huge crush on another girl. And this means when he shows back up, at least from what I think we're going to see, chances are she won't be happy to see him. So do the showrunners want to end Sanders? That's the question I keep asking myself because we know that Floriana Lima has a very limited schedule next season. She's moving down from a series regular to a recurring character, which means she's got very limited episodes in season three. So if the showrunners wanted to end Sanders because of this reason, they could probably pull that off by introducing her father as a character who doesn't approve of what she's doing with her life. She wants to try and reconcile with him and that pulls her away from Alex. I mean, I'm not saying I want to see that. I'm just saying that that the showrunners have a way out by doing this. And it seems like, honestly, the only reason they would be introducing her father is to split up Sanders because Maggie doesn't have a lot of story time next season. And if they're going to pull away from the Sanders relationship to deal with her father, then I think it's going to have a big impact on what happens with their relationship moving forward. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Are you a fan of Sanders? And are you worried with the introduction of her father that we may see the end of this relationship and that Maggie may disappear from the show in the back half of the season? So let's jump into The Flash. The Elongated Man has an actor now. Hartley Sawyer will be suiting up as the stretchy hero in this upcoming season of The Flash. The CW has this to say about the character. One of The Flash's most iconic allies, Ralph Dibney, aka The Elongated Man, is a fast-talking private investigator with investigative skills that rival those of Batman. Upon discovering he has the power to stretch his body in any shape or form, Dibney uses his new abilities to help Team Flash solve one of Central City's greatest mysteries. So he has skills that rival Batman. <laughs> the CW wants to use Batman so bad that they insert random characters and give us the Batman buzzword to draw attention to that character. Truth is, I don't think it works. It's great that they want to bring in a detective character who's smart and has meta powers, but I'm not holding my breath here with these investigative skills that rival that of Batman. The truth is Barry has been doing less and less police work each season, so unless they change that drastically this season, I don't know if it will matter what Ralph does for a living. I mean, he could be a hot dog vendor. It, it doesn't really matter. You know, I'm hoping that if he is a big part of the show, the way they're talking about it, it will bring out more of those police moments with Barry to help expand his development throughout the season because I feel like the intellectual side of The Flash is lacking, severely lacking. So I'm happy about hearing the fact that this may sort of uh, reignite this interest Barry has in police work. So, you know, that's, that is my dream with this casting. Uh, but are you guys happy about this casting? What do you think about Hartley Sawyer coming onto the show as the elongated man? Uh, let me know in the comments. And now let's talk about Legends of Tomorrow. We are finally getting some casting news from Legends of Tomorrow, and we found out we will be seeing Vixen's granddaughter this season. So if you guys are anything like me, you hear the name Vixen, you hear the term granddaughter, and you automatically think we're going to be getting Mari, who we saw on the Arrow TV series from the animated CW Seed service, but we're not. We're going to be getting her sister, Kuwasa, who was introduced in the animated series, played by actress Tracy I. Fechor, or I. Fechor. I'm not sure if I'm like totally butchering that name, uh, but that's who she's going to be playing. Kuwasa, the sister of Mari, who is the 2016-2017 vixen now we don't know very much about her character but she will be in the early episodes so this means that amaya may have to deal with the repercussions of her choices very early in next season and i'm personally excited about this because having some you know consequences in place for the choices that were made last season between characters feels great to me next up another casting reveal 
We have Julius Caesar. Simon Merrills, who also starred in Spartacus, will be appearing in an upcoming episode of Legends as Julius Caesar. Uh, it says here, we start out in 2017, but we're going to take a trip back to ancient Rome and we're going to have Simon Merrills. He played Julius Caesar on Spartacus, who's going to be playing Julius Caesar on Legends. This is so crazy to me. So we're going to be traveling to even more incredible moments in time this season. Now, I will admit... I'm still on the fence about all the time travel because they still haven't nailed it for me. And I've made that very clear in several videos between season one and season two. But at least these few locations they've dropped so far in interviews sounds to be pretty interesting to me. I love the idea of the freak show circus. I love the idea of ancient Rome. All of that sounds like fun. Let me know in the comments, are you happy about either of these castings? Which one do you like the most? Which one do you not like? Do you like them both? Do you not like either of them? Just talk about it in the comments below. Next up, let's talk about Arrow. And we have more casting news. Seidel Noel will be joining this upcoming season of Arrow. Now her character's name is Samanda Watson. She's described as an intelligent and poised with a no-nonsense attitude and she won't rest until the Green Arrow's secrets are revealed. Here we go again and again, more people trying to figure out the Green Arrow's identity and its secrets. This is one of the most annoying like tropes of the series. We get it almost every single season. Here goes a cop. They want to know who the Green Arrow is, and he or she will be a plot device. I really hope that she gets more than a story about how she thinks Oliver Queen is the Green Arrow, and she wants to expose him. We've already been there, done that, got the t-shirt, mailed the postcard. She was great on Glow. I love that series. If you haven't checked it out, go to Netflix and check it out. It's full of like 80s cheesiness. I absolutely love it. So hopefully she brings that same energy to Arrow and not just a retread of tracking down the secret identity of the Green Arrow, which they have done it so many times. I just can't, I can't even talk about how many times it's happened. So that's all the major news from our four DC TV shows on the CW, but I want to take a moment and talk about the crossover event that they've got coming up this season. So it was revealed that this year's crossover would take place the week after the U.S. Thanksgiving. Now, this is a great week for the shows and a week typically before the mid-season finales. I think that's in a great spot. But they're saying that this season it will be about romance and relationships. Yes, you heard that right. Romance and relationships uh, so let your imagination run wild. Also, I go into a lot more detail about my thoughts on this in a video I did last week. I'm going to pop it up in the corner now. You can click on it and check it out. Go over there, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. But uh, basically, in a nutshell, I'm not happy about a major crossover event about romance. Again, you want the details, click that video and uh, let me know what you think over there. And unfortunately, no major news from Black Lightning, Gotham, or Krypton this past week. I looked around, I didn't see anything worth talking about. If you think I missed something for those shows, leave it in the comments below. Let's discuss it down there. So that means that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. So thank you for spending your Monday in the Ericverse with me while we talked about all of our favorite shows. Now, before I go, I wanna remind you guys, I will be starting a Marvel series very similar to this, to our mega video, our rant preview for DC TV, very similar soon and I'm taking suggestions for the names so if you got an idea for the name uh, of a Marvel series similar to this it's going to be a combination show we talk about all the Marvel TV shows leave it in the comments section I am taking recommendations I'm trying to get some ideas here so be a gem and leave me a great idea I would really appreciate it anyway that's all I got for you guys today take care have a great Monday have a great week and I will catch you guys later